Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Srivastav and today I am discussing a very important SQL problem. So the problem statement is, we have to calculate the business days between the two dates. Okay, And what are the factors we are going to include is, we have to consider the weekends. Okay, So if weekends are coming between the two dates, we have to exclude two days out of total days uh, between the start and end date. Okay. Also, we have to consider the holidays as well. So, in case any holiday, uh, in case any holiday is coming in between the two dates, start and end date, we have to consider that as well. And what if your holiday is coming on weekends, right? So, how you are going to handle that as well? Okay. So, I hope the problem statement is clear. Now, let's quickly jump on SQL and see how we can handle this. Okay, so if you see the data here, we have two different tables. Okay, the one is the order details and the second one is the holiday details. Okay, so let's quickly jump on SQL and see. So I have already inserted the data in order details and holiday details. Okay, so in order details, you can see we have a start date and end date. Okay, and and in, in, in the holiday details table, we have already inserted the holiday date like our new year okay the republic day which is on 26th of jan and just for the uh, handling different scenarios i have inserted two more holidays which is on 18th of jan and one is on 6th of jan okay so we will consider these two as uh, these two days as holiday okay just for our understanding purpose okay so to avoid any syntax mistake and also uh, to keep the length of the video pretty short I have already written the code and we will go through each line of the code okay so here in this case I will explain first what are the different functions we are going to use in this uh, SQL statement to achieve our goal okay so let me execute it first and then we will go through each and every line okay okay now here you can see we have a start date, end date, holiday name, holiday date, then number of days, number of weeks, then day of holiday and number of days to be deducted. Okay. So if you consider the very first column number of days. So here we are calculating the days between the start date and end date. Okay. So what is the total number of date between the start date and end date? And I am using here plus one just to uh, in some cases what happened that we, we miss the first day or last day okay so we don't want to miss uh, that day okay so that uh, we have used date day function with start date and end date with plus one okay so number of days for this particular duration start date and end date is actually is seven days okay now my next column is number of weeks so here we are calculating what is the total number of week coming in between these two dates. So when we say number of week, that means your uh, 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 your date range should have Saturdays and Sundays both. Then only it will calculate one uh, one week, right? So if you see here, here you can see the total number of week is one. In this case, it's zero because the start date is 3rd of Jan and the end date is 5th of Jan, right? So total number of working days is three only. And here we can see the number of week as zero right and similarly for this particular row uh, the week st start date is of 3rd of jan and ending uh, sorry end date is 31st of jan so total week coming between th uh, these two dates is 4 correct now the day of the holiday so this is very important actually so our aim is to calculate the total business days between the two dates right so business date is like we have to exclude the total number of weekends coming in between the two days and we have to exclude the number of holidays coming in between two dates right and also we have to handle what if my holiday is coming on weekends right so we cannot calculate both weekends as well as holiday is coming on weekends right either we have to consider one of them correct so to handle that part i have calculated the day of the holiday right so if you see the new year is uh, for this particular start and end date 
30 uh, 30th of jan 2022 to 5th of jan 2023 the new year holiday uh, the holiday was coming as a new year and its its day of uh, day was sunday right so if you see here the day was sunday correct so you have to uh, we have to handle that as well right so one number of week is one so that means we have to subtract uh, two days from the total number of days right for this particular case now if we consider this particular line okay the start date is 3rd of jan and the end date is 13th of jan so in this a uh, date range the total number of working days is a uh, total number of days is 11 right and the number of week is 4 correct and the day of holiday is friday so in this case we have to consider this uh, day of holiday and we will subtract number of weeks that means one which which means that two days plus one day three day so total number of days to be subtracted from this number of days is three correct so actual working day is eight here right now in this last case you can see that the total number of week is four correct so we have to consider the eight holiday uh, eight weekends plus these three different holidays coming in between start date and end date right hope this is clear now we have done a join uh, uh, we have used a left join between the order tables and the holiday tables right and the join condition we have used is like holiday date between the start date and end date right so in case once the holiday date is falling in between the start date and end date you will we will get a holiday date uh, uh, as a result right and in case if if any date is not falling under these two dates we will get a null and in case if multiple dates are falling like for these cases we will get multiple results right because each holiday date will uh, go for a join with with start date and end date correct hope this is clear now the most important part so i already uh, inserted that uh, i have already written the code for that so we will execute each block of code and understand okay so here we will execute the very first block here okay so here i have used select a star and then date name function so date name function i have used to pull the day uh, on day of uh, day on which the holiday is coming okay so holiday as a holiday name okay now i have used a case statement okay so why i have used case statement here so to identify if my holiday uh, holiday is coming on weekends or it is coming on weekdays so in case if it is coming on weekends we will not count that day uh, we will not count that day okay and if it is uh, sorry if my holiday is coming on weekends we will not count that day and if it is coming on weekdays we will count it as a one okay and we will use this count uh, further to uh, subtract from the complete uh, count okay so here if i execute this you can see the we have the start date end date then holiday name is coming as a new year then the holiday date is 1 1 2023 and the day is sunday so my holiday day actually is zero for this one correct so for this particular range my holiday is uh, i mean the holiday count of the holiday is zero because the holiday was coming on sunday so we will only focus on uh, calculating uh, the weekends and the total number of days between the start date and end date now if you consider this part you can see that you have three different holidays falling between 3rd of jan to 31st of jan right so what we have to do we will have to consider uh total number of working days as num date uh, total number of working days as total number of days between the start date end date including excluding the weekends as well as excluding these three days right and these three days are coming on weekdays like thursday wednesday and friday okay hope this is clear now in the second sub part i am calculating the start date end date and the sum i am doing the sum on the holiday day right so if we execute this i will get so for this particular start and end date i am getting the holiday count as zero between this i am also getting the holiday count as zero correct 
because the, there was one holiday of 1st of Jan but that was on Sunday so we are not counting this and in this case it's one and now the final one we have three different holidays right because all the holidays were coming on different date uh, were coming on weekdays right and finally what we are doing here we are calculating the actual number of working days so let me explain you how we are calculating the actual number of days so between 5th of uh, sorry third 30th of uh, December to 5th of Jan the total actual working days was 5 and we were having one holiday which was coming on uh, Sunday so we, we did haven't included that right so 5 now in this case we have only three working days because we have uh, we were having no uh, holidays and no weekends in between this okay now let's understand this part what we have did we have calculated that uh, sorry first is like we have calculated the date diff that is the uh, days between the start date and end date and plus one right and we have calculated the week and multiplied it with two so that every week will have two weekends Saturday and Sunday so that the count will be two every time and now finally we are subtracting it from the holiday count right so what is my holiday count my holiday count is this one right this is my holiday count so here if my if it is zero that means nothing will be subtracted here and he in this case the three will be subtracted from this particular date range correct so let's execute this and see what is the total output we are getting so actually the total working days is 18 for this particular date range right because if you remember so total day was 29 right now number of weeks was 4 so 29 minus 8 is 21 and 3 holidays were coming which is was on weekday so 21 minus 3 is 18 right so that's why we are getting here 18 correct uh, sorry let me execute it again perfect so hope this makes sense you please like share and subscribe thank you so much for watching the video